Welcome back, everybody. My name is Gamma Trap, one word. And I want to take a second here to talk about something that's kind of deep, somber. Somber's, somber's a good word, right? <laughs> Serious, <laughs> all pretty good words. Um, I want to take this time to sort of talk about a thing that's been itching in the back of my mind. And I've been wanting to talk about it for a while now, like a, a, <laughs> too long. And I'm, I was waiting for the right moment. And this is actually a really great moment <laughs> because uh, I was recently part of the bungee uh community artist focus merchandise line whatever you want to call it <laughs> where bungee the studio that makes um destiny and they made halo and and you know the original before they handed it off uh where they take some fan artists from their community and they and they give them a chance like you know they, they ask them if they would like to participate in making some some really dedicated officially licensed bungee uh, artwork to be put on prints, shirts, whatever, you know? And I was like, yeah, sure, I would love to. And I was, I was honored because I've been making Destiny fan art for quite some time. And that's what this entire video is about. Not Destiny, but fan art. Fan art. Artwork based around someone else's creations, IP, which is intellectual property, for those who don't know. <laughs> it's an interesting little slippery kind of slope where a lot of artists go into it expecting maybe something specific or it's just the more you draw and grow in a community, the more expectations you might have. And I just wanted to, I just wanted to take a second to kind of maybe not necessarily like crush dreams. I never want to do that, but like, <laughs> it sounds so dark. I told you this was a serious one, but <laughs> I wanted to like help y'all understand maybe something that I just wanted to make sure y'all y'all have your your expectations set realistically. That's that's the most thing because I've seen so many people get so discouraged and so upset about some of the stuff we're gonna talk about, and I was like, man, oh, I, I I need I I need to talk about this. So the artwork in the background of this video that we're gonna be talking about is uh is actually some fan art. I like Destiny. Okay, you don't have to like Destiny if you don't want to, but. <laughs> It's Destiny fan art, uh, in the in the art style of like the old Warhammer 40k kind of art style, you know, like gritty, like dark kind of like horror kind of vibe. I've, I've I've really been enjoying some of just look going back and looking over some of that old artwork. So I'm I'm, I'm crossing the two, and I thought it was a really cool <laughs> comparison. So on on the, on the serious on this on the serious stuff, back back to the actual topic here. Later in the video, we're gonna talk about like some of like the heavier stuff, but for now, let's just talk about like you know essentially why artists would want to get into fan art, right? For for starters, and let's be fast. For starters, it's because you know it's a passion. The the main reason is because it's a passion. It's it, you like Disney, you like World of Warcraft, you like Guild Wars, you like Destiny, you like Halo, whatever. It inspires you as an artist to create artwork for that because of moments, because of characters, whatever. Art, that's just something that artists do, and not just artists like me, but like musicians, sculptors. It's just, just people who create things. So it inspires people. The second reason, this is a side effect. This is not necessarily the reason for most people. This is just a side effect of doing fan art a lot, especially about, you know, a particular thing, just focusing on one or two different franchises is you grow in that community. You grow an audience of people who, who also love that thing. If you make a lot of fan art for the thing that you're passionate about, the other people who are passionate about that thing who like artwork are just going to follow you. This is just a natural side effect, which can kind of lead into this kind of darker mindset. When I explain it, you're, you're going to understand, hopefully. And we'll get that, in, like I said, after the reasons. And this last reason is just simply like, sometimes it's super lucrative. And I don't mean to say like, you want money fast, you draw some fan art. <laughs> it's, it's like, that's absolutely not, not what I'm trying to say here. Because is it legal to sell fan art of someone else's creation? Like the quick and dirty answer is no, it's not. Technically, no, it's not. But there's, 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 there's some subjectivity in that. For example, every studio, every owner of every IP, every, every one of those people, like they have their own line in the sand. Sometimes they don't want any fan art. They, sometimes they just don't like fan art for any reason. And that's fine. It's, it's their right to not like fan art. Some studios don't care at all. They're like, yeah, sure, good. You know, we, some, some, some view it as advertisement. Some view it as promotion. Some view it as theft. It's a very sticky situation. It's always best to ask the, the, that studio or that person's legal team if they have one. If they say no, don't feel discouraged. Don't feel upset. They are they are they are well within their rights based on you know their line in the sand or whatever you know. Here here here's here's the rub right. All that cool stuff aside, the the weird money talk, the weird the weird money situation, all that aside, it's 
hard not to look at yourself as a content creator in that field because you are you are literally creating content here's the more serious part i want you, i want i want to temper some expectations here real quick okay and this is a bad one i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you right now this is gonna hurt your feelings probably <laughs> and i don't i don't want to hurt your feelings i don't want to crush your dreams but this this is kind of a, 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 a tough one to swallow don't expect to be looked at on the same level as other content creators in a given franchise. So say for example, you like drawing a lot of League of Legends stuff. Well, you might have a nice good following of people who love it when you post your League of Legends artwork. You might post League of Legends artwork regularly. You might have you know a huge Instagram or Twitter following of people who just love your League of Legends fan art. Don't be surprised when people don't look at you on the same level as other quote content creators our content that we create as artists i just need here's here's the part where i need you to understand right <laughs> our our content that we create as artists is very temporary to most people okay to most people uh, we'll look at each other's work and go man that must have taken 15 23 hours or something like that we'll examine every little little ounce we'll check out the light sources we'll look at the textures and the details and and the brushwork and whatever you know we'll, we'll we'll enjoy it you and me we'll enjoy it but the regular person who just checks it out on twitter or instagram they go oh cool double tap for the like and scroll maybe they'll even put it save it as their wallpaper on their phone or their or their desktop or or like if, if you're really lucky maybe they'll buy a print of it you know if, if that studio is cool with it but like past that that's they really don't spend that much time with us you know, they really don't spend that much time on our content. And that's one of the reasons, actually, that I started shifting focus to this YouTube channel. For example, I used to make almost exclusively just time lapses and just a few tutorials. Now I'm doing mostly tutorials. Now I'm now I'm focusing on the artists. They they only have so much time in the day, regular people, where, okay, you know, they go to work or go to school or whatever they do, their time commitments to their family. And if they really love a, a game, for example, like League of Legends or, or or Destiny or World of Warcraft, then they're devoted time to that hobby. They're, they're okay, I'm gonna play this game. And if they need to look up content, it's probably gonna be how to get past a certain level or how to how to get this gear, how to you know whatever the, the meta or anything like that. And so that's the time that they are allowing for content to come into their lives. And that's not fan art time. Maybe. A few, maybe sometimes. There are always some people who like love like time lapses. Like, oh man, I love World of Warcraft fan artist time lapses or whatever. You know, there's always those people, but they're they're really few and far between. Okay, so let's look at the upsides and the downsides real quick. You know, just 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 to wrap things up, just nutshell TLDR kind of stuff, right? The, we'll start with the downsides. The downsides is you won't make much money off it most likely because of various legal reasons. There's a chance that you'll get, you know, DMCA'd and then the studio will like, no, you can't sell this, take it down. You know, that's that which is legally, which is legal and fair. B, you won't be viewed as a typical content creator. So even though you might have the numbers of of some higher level or, or more popular, you know, content like YouTubers or streamers, they won't devote that much time to watching your time lapses and they'll and they won't think about you whenever they think of content creators in that fandom mostly mostly they're always exceptions to rules but like you know as, as far as i've seen and uh the upsides are you get to grow in a passionate community you, you're surrounding yourself with other people who love what you love and celebrate what you celebrate you know that's that's a big that's bigger than you think that's a it's a big one right another one is I mean, you're drawing all this fan art. It's 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 like really good practice. Like you look at the stuff in the background going on right now. I got like this almost specifically because I just loved drawing all the time, and I always would draw fan art all the time. So I hope this is cleared a little bit of air, and I hope this helped maybe 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 shed a little bit of light on on expectations maybe temper some maybe maybe make you like really inspire like oh man wow i didn't even think about those really positive things you know hopefully there's that <laughs> 
I, I really don't want to crush anyone's dreams here, you know. And, and like, hey, you might you might not even you might not be an artist. You might just be like, oh, I wonder what artists are going through. I wonder what they're feeling. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much to my amazing patrons. I appreciate the ever loving out of you for supporting the ever loving out of me. If you would like to get this copy of uh of artwork, you know, like the this is it's on the official Bungie store currently uh, as of this video, and it and it won't be there forever. It will not. So if it's not there now, maybe look around to the bungee store there's probably going to be more artists more fan arts that they're celebrating so feel free to check them out they're almost every, every single one that they've they've picked so far has been like top tier i love all their work they're amazing so i mean just look around they <laughs> you might might be surprised <laughs> And uh, if you would like to pick up any of my other work, you can do so on my website, in the store on my website. So if you like this talk and you want to you wanna learn more about artwork and maybe fan art stuff, or if you like this time lapse that's going on in the background, you can click one of these videos on the screen right now, and it will take you to either a tutorial, going over some stuff, or another time lapse. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and your time being here. I hope I didn't crush any dreams. I hope I brought some good things to light, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.